Uh oh. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through you. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. Chief, no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you. No. They will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. Oh boy, what a good father. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Send one. I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! It's done. You did it, but there's more. Okay, I guess we lost the things on the burial there's mount. More. You're tired, but you have to keep going. There's still more. What can you do? It's not going to be easy. I'm not very fond of dark tight spaces. Can you do another one? It's too much. Have you got the energy? She hasn't got the energy. No. Too much to do. Have we seen this one? And here is the end of six yeah, stories. So he was a fierce and great warrior who fought many battles. But one day, an old man came onto the battlefield. Although shadowed by a hood. Yeah, yeah, we know it was Odin. He was jealous of Sigmund's drip and he wanted to take his place as drip king. I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. A moment. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than 40 and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. Nice times. Where are we? I don't like it. What is this place? It's creepy. Creepy. It feels wrong. It feels strange. Where is it? Creepy and stinky. Like right? just, just like Magnus. This is wrong. This has to be wrong. Magnus. Dilius. The light. Go towards it. He's in the house. Follow He's going it. in. He's disappearing. Follow him. Don't let him disappear. The air is gone. gone. Keep going. Yikes. It's a test. Like the old warrior trials. Dillian will help me. You can almost reach him. You can almost see him. The stench of rot. You can almost taste it. Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. It was 
a warm spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. But the water, she could taste the rot. But no one else could. She knew something was wrong, something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. And they knew that she was not like that. Keep going. The water is foul. It's thick. I mean, she warned them. But they wouldn't listen. Oh, I see. We have these gates. Another Seno, where is it now? There's there's a face somewhere now. Where are you, Mama? Was it the rag that looked like a face? I slightly remember something. Man, finding the faces is kind of tough. And it annoys me because the game tells you about it, like it warns you, it says Senua. And then you look everywhere, but you don't see the face, but the face is right there. Like it seems. Where's mother supposed to be now, huh? happens through this gate. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go. Let's go, Gecko attack. Do it. The Northmen speak of a death moon. A light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm, and first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hands, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. But that is not the end of it, because the dead return to haunt the living. If you see the death moon, then beware. Because there will be death in that house. I don't know about Death Moon, man. I only know about Sailor Moon. Okay, yeah, what did we do? Place is now open. Okay, 
guess we go up and fix the Oh no, we have to go up to the watchtower. All along the watchtower. Mm-hmm. I see. I bet if I look through here. Yeah. the right alignment there it is Not going right into the house because I want to find the face. Here it around here, so maybe. Maybe the face is around here somewhere. I just google it but I don't want to google it I guess if I find it I find it if I don't find it I don't find it Maybe in the mountains, maybe in the woods, here, far, wherever you are, I can't see your face. I can't find it. I remember that it was somehow maybe the reflection of that thing, the green place or the rag or something, but I don't really remember how. Anyway, let's keep going. Genoa. Yeah. Come to me. I'm coming. I'm here. I'm right here. Are you in there? Find him. Come out if you want. Have to find him. The rooms. Focus. They're coming for me! It's Dillian, go to him! Dillian, go to him! He's trying to save you! Don't let it be! It is! 
It's close. It's close. Move away. Simor, move away. You're drunk. Oh no, this is bad. There it is, move away. Don't let it look quick. Where's Dillian? Where is he? This is taking too long. Can you hear him? The lost rooms. You have to find them. Where are you? You're lost. Where are they? This all looks the same. That doesn't look the same. Stop it. Got me, man. Yeah, I got caught. Got caught, man. Oh, no, not the rot arm. Yeah, we've got one. Where's the door? To find a way out. Find the gate. Get out. Get run. Run. Oh, run. Don't let him look at you. Don't let it see you. It's coming. Move away. Fuck. You're lost run. again. Run. Run now. Ah! Run. 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 Okay, it's coming from there. Jesus. There's the psi. That he is. such a thing. Are they gods? None of us are. They're just people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. It doesn't make them true. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are, like I have. You're not a monster. But what if I am? Without you, this darkness has made me a monster. 
We're missing secrets left and right, ladies and gents. What if this is pointless? What if you're wrong? What if this has nothing to do with the sword? What if we're wrong? The sword will never be used. What if you shut up? <laughs> what if this is the end? It's just a trick. It's just a pointless test. You've been fooled before. You could be fooled again. You don't know. It's just their game for you. You never know which way it's going to go. <laughs> I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldr. Baldr? The second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was bold. Was Baldr bold, uh, Mangus? He was fair of feature. He spoke fair words. He gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Uh-oh. Where are we? Mangus. It's dangerous. Don't go near it. Don't go there. Don't go too close. Don't go. Where are we? What is this? It's the same. It's another world. Ooh. It's lighter. It's nicer. I like it here. Can we stay? The bridge. It's not broken. It's fixed. What happened? There's something here. Nope. I think this door is locked from the other side. What is you? The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. Mm -hmm. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not unused. Loki is not amused. I see, I see. And it dillion these nut. He's close. He loves you. Calling you. Dillion. Dillion, we're here. Dillion. We're nearly here. But the room is in this dimension. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. You are here. 
Dillian. There he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go through him. Dillian, no, where is he? Where is he gone? We're in the wrong world. He's not here. She's in the wrong world. He's not in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. She. Dillion loves me, this I know. So simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillion taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Senna explored new paths into the unknown. She did the LSD. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. What the hell? Oh dear. Wh why? Hey, why wouldn't she ask the mistletoe? It, it really looks very sus if you look at it. And why? Why would you tell someone? Okay, fine. I'm not gonna go up there. You can't. The mistletoe was too young. Sesame. You have blood on your hands. You are guilty. Was it worth it? There he is. Where are you taking him? He's up there. He's up there. How do you get up? There's a way. There is a way up there. Find the way. She can tell. You're nearly there. She can find the way. Loki makes a dart. Out of mistletoe, of course he does. and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Hood, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Hood says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Hood throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. Jesus. Hood is slain. Poor Hoth, man, man. Man, what the hell? He's blind, and he's tricked, and he's killed, okay. It's always the blind and the bold people that are uh, the short stink of history. gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. 
When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief, and she dies. Jesus. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Your love because he believed in you. Man, that's not their own, that's an arrow. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go, and she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her brothers, and Dillian. The future. Two realities tearing at her soul. Whenever I'm here, I hear only good things. Whenever I'm down there, in the dark world, well, not so pretty. Is there a story there to be told? Is the up arrow up? Ah, there it is. I see some part of it. Aha. What are they all about wasting your time just delaying the moment by minute by minute? How does it feel like to be in love? What does she think she's doing? She says <laughs> you're not special. She thinks she is. <laughs> they mean nothing. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. Wow. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she <laughs> says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. Man, what a what a what a little bitch Loki is. Strangled him. 
drop it. If I smack you and you die, the Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. But the blind dude. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down, and turned these bonds to iron, and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face, so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. I'd fine. Loki got what he deserved, I guess. But no one cared about the blind dude, dude. Like that's so sad. They only cared about the 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 bold dude. Nobody will love Can you remember what it feels like? Dillion. She slashed back on me. Very, very careful. Dillian never much cared for the underworld. And looked dimly upon the druids, like her father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. Yeah. <laughs> safe in Dillian's arms. Had to see the world through his eyes. Slowly. Darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. You're going to fall, Kev. No, she's not. She's not going to fall. She's strong. She's steady. She can do it. You can do it, Sinwa. Is he deposing me? Oh, no. oh geez. Father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. Dillon's a nice boy. My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? You give up the beautiful world thing. You and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. This point, I think, yeah. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my head. Just another part of the person I know. Aww. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. Killing you would be too easy. They're taking your memories to torture you. They're taking you from the inside. You're disappearing out. one memory at a time. Every time you remember, it disappears. Everything you have. The memories of ghosts. They belong to the gods, not to you. They're eating you from the inside. They want to kill. 
kill your soul. They want to crush it. You think they want your body, they want your soul. They want your mind and they're going to take it. The they want my money. They're the gods now. Nothing is yours anymore. They want my YouTube money. I've seen this. And here is the end yeah, we did. Story. Three times, why not? He was a fierce and great warrior who fought many battles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Odin killed him because he was a sassy baka. Didn't I do all that? Guess I'm missing one. Did you listen to that one then? As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, Sigmund's yeah, sister is. throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, the gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hall. The king burns to death. So Sigmund Freud's fault. Northmen say that their all father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. A true drunkard. In blindness, there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Oh boy, we're blind. Who's there? Can you hear me? I'm right here. Can't you see me? Help me. Breathe slow. It's the darkness. Stay still. Empty your thoughts. Tell me what you feel. A breeze. Good. Then there is a way out. I can't tell where it comes from. Yes, you can. Can I? The others, the voices, they've gone. I'm still here. It's so quiet, so dark. It's okay. Listen to your own breath. Feel it rise and fall. We are meditating, ladies and gentlemen. Be aware of everything you hear and feel. Let your senses guide you. Just trying to go towards the chimes. 
Then I follow the light whenever I see it. He was blind. This water makes me wanna pee. I don't know what's inside. Don't be afraid. Oh boy. <gasps> what the hell is even that thing? Oh boy. Don't like chains. I always thought that those chains made sound. It's not following me. Leave it behind and keep moving forwards. Oh boy, oh boy. Forwards, he says. The hell? Ew. 
I don't like this. I don't like this part. Uh, it's too scary. There is more of them. I think they're moving. You're breathing too fast. I'm scared. This is the sound of your breath. In and out. Oh boy. And out. Well, boss, you can do this anyway. I think Dylan is here. Oh, I think he's coming straight towards me. Jesus. Oof. Oh boy. is testing you but you are in control am i As well. Don't turn back. You're getting close. We're falling into the well. Little Senua passing through. <laughs> Jesus, this is way more stressful than I remember. Cruel. The light disappeared. She could spend hours, days even, trapped within herself in the dark. You see me? Yes. Your eyes were open, but you were... gone. And when it finally let her go, she could be anywhere, with no memory of how she got there. When it comes for me, I have no power over it. But here, for the first time, Someone was there to help. But I heard your voice. You brought me back. You found your own way back. 
All you needed was a little help. A little hope.